So by the title of this video, I'm pretty sure you can tell that um, number one, I'm a marketing genius. I could have did this video on live, but I decided I'm gonna get my coin because tea is spilling the tea, period. One thing about me, I'm gonna get my bread, I'm gonna get my money. I think I just wanna get into some questions and some comments that I have been reading because why the hell not? I'm, I've always been like this. It's always been a, you either love me or you hate me. You know what I mean? It's cool because you ain't me. And it's also cool because I know who the fuck I am. So it's not gonna make or break me like I've been you know crazy my whole life so i know that people will always judge it and be like oh she's weird or whatever the case is but i think what had recently happened was a lot of you know i'm not denying that yeah i definitely went off i definitely uh yelled at that girl i'm talking about scotty when i'm looking back at it i'm like oh yeah like she was in the beginning trying to figure out what was wrong with me but i really just wasn't in the mood to talk to anybody and i think that that there was a lot of things that were cut out that would have like made a little bit more sense but it wouldn't change the fact that people don't like me and that i don't give a fuck a lot of people ain't just never liked me my whole life and and i know it's just like they always looking for a reason you know but when you know yourself and when you're shining it, it bother people it bother people it bother people why she got so many confessionals um that's what my job was you know what i mean like I got called in as the com comedic relief. Everybody is funny in their own right. And some people are just funny as fuck naturally on this show already. But that's what they wanted me to bring that. And because of my background in film, I also know how to narrate very well. So you're going to see my confessionals and you're going to have to get used to it. You don't like me and you're still here watching, you know, it's, it's, it's still type of it, hate is another form of love. So at the end of the day, thank you for my check. Thank you for my coin and thank you for the view. Well, it's all stuff that I've heard before. You know what I mean? Like I've heard, you know, I'm crazy or like annoying or loud or, um, you know, not pretty or uh, not talented or I don't, I didn't deserve it or whatever. And I just know that that comes with who I am because this has always been my tea. I used to think it was always like, oh, people hate on me like they want what I got. And it's not even that all the time. Sometimes it's really just like, I think basically people just don't don't feel good about themselves. You know what I mean? So they, they want to project it out on me. And they think that I'm being a bully or I'm being a mean girl, but they don't know the backstory and they don't know the breakdown. So I'm going to give you that, guys that I've met Scotty before. I met her at the beginning of the year at Hair Queen L.A., it was chill vibes. There was nothing wrong. It was high, high, and that was it. Then I met her again in London, and she stirred up a little bit of drama. So when I met her in London, I'm like, okay, so she's one of those girls that smiles in your face and then goes tries to be funny on the back end. So it was already kind of weird tension just based off of that, and I left it alone still. I still tried to come into this experience um, you know, just open-minded, just not knowing, you know, who I was going to be friends with, who I was going to be cool with, just giving everybody an, an equal opportunity. And I think that what people don't really realize is that all of my confessionals were done after me and her fought. So the editor's going to make it seem like there's a reason for us to fight, you know what I mean? But there really was never a reason. The, the reason why Scotty is really upset with me is because her nigga wanna fuck me. Um, and that's why there was drama that was stirred up in London with me for whatever reason. Um, that all that drama initially started with her. So fast forward, I still, like I said, I move forward, I let it go. Cause at the end of the day, I don't know anybody's nigga that don't wanna fuck me. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know a bitch that don't wanna fuck me. Fast forward though, like I said, you know, came in cool. Um as y'all can see, y'all be like, you know, I see a couple people say, well, why, you know, why is she so loud in her confessionals? But when in, in like, you know, in, um, on set or like, you know, in front of the, like in, in front of the girls, she's quiet. Well, like I said, the confessionals were done after I got into a fight. Number one. Number two, it was my job to do comedic timing and narrate. Number three. Like I said, I came into the situation with an open mind and just trying to be honestly humble because I really wasn't even trying to 
be like all the extra shit like oh yeah like i'm that bitch in real life i'm an actress in real life i'm a homeowner in real life like i didn't want to have to say you're like sh she mad because her nigga wouldn't fuck me i didn't want to have to say any of that stuff i didn't want to i wanted to keep it cute keep it chill and give everybody the opportunity to get to know me and give everybody the opportunity for me to get to know them so but that didn't happen because when we fast forward you know to everything that was going on basically the night that Tasiki got in a fight with um the Krishan's friends and stuff like that basically before all that happened I was like I'm not staying in this house like there's no way I'm staying in this house it was hot the windows had no curtains the sheets looked dirty it smelled it stank the pool was stank mildew vibes and it just didn't seem like an accommodation that I would ever stay in and people could call me bougie or whatever I don't give a fuck like that's who I am I don't care um so I was gonna stay at a hotel and Vicky was asking me if she could stay at my hotel and I was like yeah you can stay with me if you want to but production didn't let her basically so everybody's contracts is different everybody's vibes are different so boom she's over there doing what she gotta do and do, and you know everybody has a job to do at the end of the day so I went on my own and got my own hotel and she went on her own and stayed at the house um and then basically um when I came back, that was just a, a, a conversation that kept being brought up by her. She wanted to basically just finish out the job, and she, but then she also wanted to go home. And I was telling her, well, don't you, you know, don't you want to, you know, don't you want to have the experience? Don't you want to get your bag? Don't you want to, you know, just trying to convince her, like, you know, it should be fine. Like, she just said she was scared and she didn't want to fight. And I said, well, if you're scared and you don't want to fight, then you just need to just keep it chill. Keep it cool. Like, keep, like, be quiet. Like, basically, like, what I was doing. Like, I was just chilling, just watching everybody shit unfold, basically. Um, the only time that everybody keeps trying to bring up that I uh, was yelling at Scotty is only because I just, was, I, at that point, you guys got to think about it. First episode, Batty Batty Shot O'Clock, Batty Batty Shot O'Clock, second episode, all by myself. Nobody was taking shots. Nobody was having a good time. Everybody was fighting. I was the only one trying to have a good time. And for everybody to say, oh, I want camera time. I want camera time. How would I want camera time when there, there's a whole camera on me? I have my own camera. Every time I would be just sitting there doing nothing. And it's a camera on me. So how do I want to need for camera time? The camera's there, period. She was saying that she hit me and she also told me to move. She was yelling at me that whole time she was fighting. Um, and I just told her like, girl, you didn't hit me. Like, relax. Like the fight is over at this point. Like you guys fought like seven rounds at this point. Like, so stop saying that you hit me because you didn't hit me. And I was, and I was drunk. So yes, I raised my voice. And yes, I told her you didn't hit me. Relax. Like, don't be trying to paint a picture. Like you yelling at me just because I'm quiet. And then come to find out she already talked about having a temperature check me. And also prior to filming, when we were staying at our hotels, she comes up to me and she's like, you don't like me. And I'm like, I don't know you. It's not that I don't like you, but you did kind of stir up some drama in London. And that was weird, but like, that's neither here nor there. Like, we're good. I don't have no issues with you. Like, we can have a good time. There's things that are going on in the back end that y'all don't know about and that are being edited and construed a certain way. So to make it seem like I'm bullying somebody, no, I'm bothered at this point. Like, you're bothering me you've been bothering me for i don't know how long run up to me in london talking, do you remember me do you remember me and i'm with my whole nigga back to what i was talking about with um vicky basically we basically said we we made a pact in my mind i'm thinking like okay cool she not gonna fight i'm not gonna fight we're we you know because i told her i was like listen like for me i know who i am so i know that my mouth and i know the way that i could get down there or not like somebody i could get to get to fighting but with her, she's not like that. So I'm like, so just don't do that. And she was saying that she wasn't going to do that and stuff like that. And I mean, I've known Vicky for a long time. It's always been clout for her. It's always been like that. Like even back in the day, she hit me up. She was like, hey, we should have fake beef. And I was like, well, what's that? Like I was new to Hi, My Name's T and everything like that on Instagram. She's like, we should have like fake beef, like go back and forth with each other on Instagram. So then that way, um, you know, we can get our numbers up and people would think we don't like each other. And I was like, um, okay. I, I was like, all right. At the time I was 23 years old. Like I was just like, sure, whatever. And she had already did it. She had told me with Bad Baby. But then that ended up turning into real beef. And then um, me and her did it. And then she was saying, and then she got mad at me one day 
um from from something that I had posted and I'm like you just said we were gonna have fake beef now shit's now you're like mad so we stopped being cool after the fake beef even though so it turned from beef fake beef to like real beef in her world or whatever but then I met her um she moved out to LA from Atlanta I met her and everything was cool me and one of my best friends we was we befriended her we took her under our wing we started hanging out with her um, and everything like that and we would make videos and like I got to really get to know her and everything was cool and we really got to connect because um we have a similar background with our mothers having substance abuse and stuff like that so when me and her got to become friends I was I was game for it because I could tell like I could start to get to really know the real her she moved to Atlanta um back to Atlanta and then she she had uh came back to visit and stuff like that um and we went to go shoot some YouTube video at Aiden's house um and I was I was meeting up uh would be Lou and I told her I think I was the one who told her to come with me like just pull up like she was just visiting in town and I'm like I was gonna go over there to Aiden's house and shoot up a video with be Lou like you should come like you should come do YouTube stuff so we went over there and it was cool and everything like that but um she was like you know pushing you know uh you know this Christian or like God narrative not as hard as she's going now but like just a little bit and I was just like okay cool but she was doing it during like my YouTube video and I was like um I don't really like that like where I'm trying to make a prank video and like you're doing some other shit right now and like that's I don't like that and then she was basically judging my YouTube video like she was basically saying that because the way I was trying to prank be loose she just didn't agree with but it was a prank but I didn't like that I was like um that's kind of fake like you never was like this before like to me like right like I haven't seen her in a while so I'm like this is new to me and then you're kind of being a hater in my YouTube video and then like you're making it like you're you're kind of ruining my prank <laughs> um so that was messed up because right before then she wanted to do a video and I did her video and I did her video the way she wanted to do her video and so it's just like I think it was just like some stupid YouTube shit that basically had our like a falling out already um but I also felt like judged like that Christian bullshit that I don't like when people um be judging like they're better because they're Christian and that's what I'm saying I feel like people got it confused like well, I'm like oh yeah I was raised in a Christian cult or anything like that like y'all they Zeus is giving y'all bits and pieces of me in a condensed <laughs> moment um that I don't claim to be a high archy Christian no like there's a lot of things I don't even believe in the Bible so please save it that's not what it was um I don't give a fuck about really uh none of that shit my personal religion and my personal beliefs has nothing to do with nobody that's not the case the case is that I grew up in a situation where people were saying they were Christians but then going on the back end uh molesting and beating people and cheating on a husband and cheating on a wife and fucking other people's sisters and brothers and shit like that like so I was like when people get to preaching and they're preaching fake and that's basically what she did she got on a rock in the middle of a brawl fight which is also like super triggering for me that day with Tasiki um and fighting uh with Krishan's uh friends and stuff like that like me and my family would get down like that and I know people would say oh yeah this is what you signed up for this is what you signed up for yeah but that don't mean that that I'm not triggered that don't mean that I'm happy to be here at this moment they got us standing outside it's late at night y'all said we was gonna go out to the club and now you're telling us we gotta go outside and now people are fighting I thought we were gonna go have a good time like I said and no we're not like I'm outside getting bit up by mosquitoes everywhere all over my legs and you guys are saying wait right here and you know under these beaming ass lights um so these people can fight so I'm like after day fought I walked upstairs and while I'm walking upstairs um, I see a producer talking to Vicky and then all of a sudden the Vicky is on top of a rock talking about Jesus Lord Jesus Lord and I'm like that's exactly what she said she told me she, we weren't going to be doing we weren't going to be getting involved in people's beefs and we weren't going to be getting in, in any fights or anything like that so I was like that's whack like she's doing it for camera time or she's doing it because the producer told her or whatever the case is I was mad at everybody I was mad at the producers I was mad at Vicky I was like mad at the I was mad at the production I was mad at the whole situation because that was the first day I realized oh this is how you guys really get down like you guys set people up and then you guys um 
like, and then you're fake as fuck for the camera, and like and then on top of that already not being in a comfortable environment like being away from home like real shit like i was homesick like i miss my dude like and i was like you know i don't know these people like that i'm just here to do my job like i kept just trying to you know stay focused on that from there i got in a car and i didn't want to talk to nobody because i just wanted to take my own deep breaths and for everybody saying that i just wanted camera time i didn't even know the cameras were on the camera in the in the bus there's one little camera in the bus it's tiny as fuck and half of the time they have to go up to it and push the button to turn it on and nobody i didn't see nobody do that like i usually see them do like i didn't see anybody do that i'm thinking like we're just getting in the car that don't mean that just because we're getting the car the car the the camera's automatically on we didn't have no security in that car we and there was no producer in that car it was just the girls so we get in the car and i'm like i don't want to talk to anybody I don't want to talk to anybody. This, that was, that was, that was, that was, that I'm triggered. I didn't like that. And I just want to be left alone. So when she, when Scotty came into the bus and she's like, Hey, are you okay? I'm like, just leave me alone. Because the last time you tried to uh, check on me, ugh, the drama broke loose. So, and that was into what I'm talking about in London. So just leave me alone. Just, I need to take deep breaths. I just want to get ready to go out and have drinks and have fun. Even when Natalie asked me, and they must have took it out, but even when Nas Natalie asked me, I just was just like, it's fine. And then she was like, no, T, like, let's talk about it. Like, what's going on? And I was like, I'm mad. I'm mad at production. I, the first thing I said, I was like, I'm mad at production. Like, if they told her to get up on that rock, I don't like that. Like, that's fake as fuck. And she was like, no, a producer didn't tell her to do that. And I was like, okay, well, if the producer didn't tell her to do that, then that fake Christian shit, I'm so sick of that shit. Like, I am so sick of that shit. Like, I don't like that shit at all. Like, she talking Bible verses and stuff. This is how, and you supposed to be like this, and you supposed to be like that. Like, you're not perfect. I don't know what world you thought you woke up in, but you're not perfect. Like, I was just trying to let it out. And I felt like Natalie was giving me the space to do that. And I thought everybody in the bus was cool. But now you talking about, oh, girl, calm down. And that's when I was like, oh, the camera's on. That's what I realized. And I'm like, who the fuck are you to tell me to calm down when you don't know me? Like, I don't, maybe, yeah, like, I shouldn't have took the trigger out on her, but she should have minded her own fucking business and never inserted herself like she always do. This is not the first time she's inserted herself to me off camera. So, yeah, I was mad. And yeah, I went off. And I was like, let's, like, what you gonna do? Like, we can, if we gonna fight, let's fight right now. Like, because... Before that, I walk in the house from my hotel and Scotty's in a corner crying. She's like, yeah, I just been hearing stuff like, you know, that um, you and Yasmin were talking about me um, before you got on the show. And I was like, Yasmin talks about everybody. I don't have nothing bad to say about you because I don't know you like that. But that is my best friend. But what? Why are you crying? And she was like, well, um, I had to unfollow you. Because basically the production told me that I can't follow you anymore. Okay, cool, whatever. And I had given her a gift. I gave everybody a gift when I walked in the house. Like just to let them know like, hey, like, I don't know what you've heard about me, but I'm a nice girl. And she literally left the bag um, on the table like, like she was too good for it or whatever. And I was like, okay, well, okay. So I was like... I'll just give this to another girl, but like, I don't get it. Like, I don't understand why people can't make their, like, their own, like, decisions up. You know, like, they can't just be, like, you know, make up their own mind about people. They have to listen to hearsay, she say, say, or whatever. Well, it, this is a show. Like, aren't you been on this show for, like, three seasons? Like, don't you know by now that they try to put stuff in your ear to make you not like the next bitch? They knew that they couldn't do that with me. Ain't no reason for me. If I don't like you, it's because I don't like you. Like, if I'm not your friend, it's because I'm not your friend. And there was just a lot of the fruits of her labor at this point that I was like, yeah, I don't like her. Like, I don't like her. I don't think she's, I, I don't think she's a sweet girl. I don't think she's a nice person. I think she's fake as fuck. I think she loves the drum. When I asked her if she wanted to get down right then and there in the bus, she didn't want to do it. But y'all, but somebody, but I see some comments talking about, oh, well, if it was me, but it wasn't you, bitch. It wasn't you. And it would never be you. So get that out your head because you're not Scotty. You're not me. <laughs> and you won't ever be sitting in the seat to be. So 
I had drama with her. She had drama with me. And nothing went down. And I don't know why it didn't go down. You know, maybe because there was only that itty bitty camera. And maybe it was because there was no security. But y'all gonna see in the next episode. And I'm gonna recap on that bitch too. Because y'all gonna really see what the fuck is up with me. Because I'm crazy, I'm psycho. Yeah, bitch, and what? Don't play with me then. Don't mess with me. Don't try to be cute with me. And that's why I said what I said and y'all seen it in the preview. Like, if you don't like me, I just need to know that now. Because I let people know that I don't like them. I really do. As y'all can see. I let you know. I don't like you. I keep it quiet. And I stay away. And if you come at me, oh, you're going to get the wrath of tea. Period. So thank you for watching. Thank you for the view. Thank you for the coin. And stay tuned for more Tea from Tea.